Okay, so in the previous video we have made a braking platform and we have made a system of levers that can trigger the entry of a, the, the opening of the doors and today we're gonna start to add some other stuff to our video game and we're gonna add some collectibles and so basically what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create some coin so for that I need to go to levels and click on plus and look for area 2D here it is and we're gonna add uh, a collision shade or area and then we're gonna add uh, I think it's gonna be a circle shape this time after that we're gonna add a sprite and then finally we're gonna add an animation player okay so we need also to have a, a sprite actually so I have those items just right here so I'm gonna put it in my um, folders I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna put it on my sprite just right here and so normally now if I go back on Godot it has been uh, importing my uh, my sprite and that's good so now I'm gonna go here I'm just gonna go on sprite and I'm gonna drag my uh, textures into the empty um, space let's say so my sp the sprite is pretty big you can find it uh, as everything you can find all the resources into the description box of that video so uh, just pause go check that out if you don't have it and after that come back so okay so the the, um, the image is quite big so what I'm gonna do first that I'm gonna transform it so I'm gonna go on sprite then transform and then in scale I'm just gonna tap and I'm gonna tap dot 2 and dot 2 that will be enough so now we have uh, that uh, that is like this okay so now what we need to do is to go into animation still in our sprite um, in our sprites with our sprite selected and uh, we need to go to horizontal frame and like we have eight frame we need to put it at eight so like that it will give us the right uh, the right framing okay uh, the collision shape I'm gonna put it I'm gonna just drag it under sprite so like that I can have it that is above the sprite and I can check I don't know why it's like that it's a bit weird but okay and then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the animation so for creating the animation I'm gonna go here on the animation player and here I'm gonna click on animation and I'm gonna click on new I'm gonna look I'm gonna create idle and I'm gonna create uh, taken but you can also call it collected uh, like whatever you want <laughs> call it whatever you want as long as you're not making a mistake uh, then uh, I'm gonna go on idle and I'm gonna this time go on sprite and here I'm gonna key uh, I'm gonna start to uh, create my, anim my uh, animation by creating key so I'm just gonna uh, just make that a little bit bigger and I'm gonna click on frame and uh, here I'm gonna it's gonna ask me that I'm gonna say create and that's good so now I'm gonna put it at 0 0.1 and I'm gonna go here manually and I'm gonna put it on one and then after that I just have to key the others and that's it okay so here it stopped at 0 0.8 so I need to go here on the one tap dot eight so like this it fits the right length of animation and um, what I'm gonna do now is basically I'm gonna uh, do something with the, the collision shape I'm gonna go here on zero and here you can see that disabled is not um, uh, ticked so I'm just gonna it, it means that our collision shape is enabled so I'm just gonna key it right here and I'm gonna go at the end and I'm gonna key it as well this is an important step because basically when our coin gonna be taken we're gonna deactivate the, the collision shape so like this it will have no interaction with the player anymore so we need to do that uh, and then what we can do is like we can uh, so if we are uh, launching this first I need to make it loop and to put it on auto load and so now if I load it like this you can see that the coin animation is working well but you can also make some twist and you can for example you can go on sprite I'm just gonna stop the animation I need to go back on animation and stop and what you can do is like if you want if you want to have like something a little bit different you can go on sprite and here on transform you can for example go on that um, that specific 
uh, frame and you can just activate the snapping option right here and you can make it for example uh, go um, on a straight line you know like this go, uh, going coming up and down up and down up and down and so if you want to do that you just need to go here and for example with the move uh, node you can move it and then you need to do that for the same stuff like the collision shape you need to do it as well and that's it uh, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to make it for that animation, but uh, we're going to do something uh, similar to um, the Taken animation. So for the Taken animation, first what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to go back on the idle, and here you have a menu that is called Edit. You click on it, and here I can copy tracks. And so I'm going to select those two, I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to come into my Taken animation and I'm going to go on Edit and I'm going to pass Track. And so like this, all the animation I've made before uh, has been uh, just like uh, copied. So that's, that's a good, uh, very handy stuff to know. So now what we're going to do is like basically here, <laughs> I'm going to change the... Um, I'm going to create that animation that I was speaking a bit before. So I'm going to go here. And I'm gonna go to transform and I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna go to air and what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna go I'm gonna do it like this I'm gonna key it's gonna ask me to create another track and I'm gonna say yes so and then I'm gonna come here hold on like that I'm gonna key I'm gonna do uh, the same for air I'm gonna go up key then the same here, I'm going to go up and key and so on, you know, and maybe this one too and then the rest we don't need it anymore, so on, back and here, okay. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to do something else, we're going to go uh, here and we're going to go on visibility and here on modulate we're gonna have that we have that stuff and if we put it uh, at zero you can see here that it's gonna uh, make our uh, coins vanished and so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do that here so first we're gonna uh, leave it like this and we're gonna key it and then we're gonna go to that frame the fifth one and we're gonna come here and we're gonna put that to zero and we're gonna key it voila and uh, last things that we need to do is here uh, on the collision shape uh, we need to go back and here we need to disable it and key and we're going to do the same uh, until here as well on and it's uh, good i think it's good like that good and good. okay perfect so now uh, i'm gonna do this and so if I play the animation, so let's see, I, uh, I just need, like it's 0 0.8, I'm going to put it at 0 0.8, and so let's play the animation, voila, and so uh, our uh, coin is vanishing when it's going to be uh, taken by our uh, character, so okay. You can also add some other stuff, here you can, for example, you can scale it maybe at the first, um, at the first. Oh no, what I'm doing, it's not what, I'm, it's not what I want to do, sorry. Uh, you can, for example, go back to the sprite, uh, still at zero, and here on uh, the transform um, region, you can put it as, for example, dot five, you know, and you can key it as well, create another track, and then here, uh, you will put it at, I don't know, Let's say here we're gonna put it at 0 0.1 and 0 0.1, something like that, and so we would create another uh, another animation. So let's say like this. You see, uh, we'll see how it works when we will play the game. Okay, so for now everything is good. Okay, so just this I'm gonna uh, name it coin. I'm gonna go back on my sprite, uh, so I'm gonna put idle, and uh, here on modulate, I'm gonna put it back to the normal. I'm just also gonna key it on that animation as well, so like this, it will be it will be key. When you do some modification like that, you always have to make sure that you really keying uh, the things well because it can make some difference uh, in uh, in your animation. So just make sure that 
you have made that well and what we need to do here is that so for example here it's not the right stuff so it needs to be at 2 at the 2 you see and so we're gonna keep it here basically that's, that's just the problem you just need to make sure that you have keyed everything if not your um, your stuff will not be good so okay so okay and what is the position of here I think the position is not good yeah the position is not good so we need to as well do it here like that and here we need to put it like that too so like that is gonna be on the right track okay so now everything looks good so I go on my scene I'm just gonna put the coin somewhere I can pick it up ah fuck that's not what I was looking to do uh, voila I move it with the move node okay but now what we need to do is like we need um, the play the um, when the player is grabbing the item we need it to play the animation and then disappear and so for that we're going to create a script and so we're going to go here and i'm just going to go back on my sprite uh, script folder just right here coin i've put it on no comment so like that i don't have the annoying comment that we that you have on average with godot so i'm going to create a func physic process delta like we've done before and basically here come on Voila. Here, what I'm going to say is that var bodies uh, equal get overlapping bodies. So this one. What the fuck? What is it doing? Okay. Stuck. Voila. Get overlapping bodies. And so here we're going to say for body in bodies, if body dot name double equal quote player we're gonna say animation player dot play it's gonna be taken and then uh, what we're gonna say so taken we're gonna say yield yield animation player then animation finished and then we're gonna say Q3 and if not if it's not the case what we're gonna say is that animation player dot play is equal like to idle and so it's gonna play the idle animation okay so now if we launch the game it should work so let's see see voila it works perfectly fine and you can see like I'm just gonna put another one so I'm just gonna go come here and I'm gonna uh, do command D or control D if you are on PC and I'm gonna put another coin maybe here for example and so now we can grab our coin and you can see that the animation is playing so after that if you don't like for example the um, the effect you can still go back on the animation player and you can go on sprite so on sprite we have done what we have done this so that was on scale just right here so we can say that so it wasn't taken so on scale right here you can still put it back on to uh, dot two dot two like it was at first and so it will works and that's it so let's see it will not work on the first one it, uh, it this one I don't think it will work but this one it will work you see so it's up to you after that you can make the, the modification you want that's completely fine and so now we're just gonna do uh, one thing one more one last things it's just that we haven't done it in the last um, in the, the, the previous video but everything you create you can create here you can uh, create what we call a prefab and so for doing uh, for doing so what you need to do is like for example the lever you click you double click on it so it's like a right click uh, on PC and it's a double click on the trackpad if you're on the Mac and you go here and save branch as a scene and I've already created a prefab folder so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna save it and here you can do the same with the door so I'm just gonna do it as well I'm gonna save branch as a scene in the prefab 
and the coin I'm gonna do it the same and so like that after that all the strings I can reuse them without to have to recreate them which is a very handy things to do and the breaking platform we're gonna do the same as well I'm just gonna save that and prefab it and so now basically if you watch what we have done we have done like quite a lot in some in just like uh, some videos so we have this uh, we have a breaking platform that uh, break when we stand on it we have a lever and uh, the lever is activating ah what is not activating the stuff anymore oh I know I know it's because I need to connect the door so the lever needs to be connect to the door because like we have saved it as a as a scene so a prefab we need to going back on this and activate the connection and now it should work so good good and here it works okay <laughs> so as you can see this is a very important stuff to do obviously and so yeah so we have done a lot of stuff so in the next video i don't know what yet i'm gonna do i will see uh, what i'm gonna do i was thinking maybe to create some uh uh, some sort of area that uh, can uh, hide some part of the background, you know, uh, to our players and then when the players go uh, through them, it just reveal what you have inside. I think I'm going to create some enemies now because we need some enemies and soon I'm going to create also the looting um, uh, part of the the game so like if you kill for example an enemy you're gonna have um, a sort of reward maybe it will be coin maybe it will be a potion or some other things uh, all those kind of things i'm gonna continue to make it so i just want to thank you for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial bye